Hi, everybody, and welcome to Sit in It for a Bit with Arne and Carlos, our weekly podcast where you can sit in it or do anything else you want to do while you listen to us for 15 minutes. And we are, as always, your hosts, Arne and Carlos. And we are outside again. Uh, we've been enjoying some beautiful days. We actually yeah. a gorgeous week. And last yesterday we had rain and we were waiting for it. Yeah, a little bit of rain it's in the so evening. Dry. Yeah, it's been amazing. We have uh, had, uh, we're putting behind us a really busy week. I call it a monster week because it's been yeah, one of those busy. really, really uh, busy weeks. We're going to recap everything that's been going on. Yeah. We're going to show you projects as we usually do. Um, and we're going to talk about, you know, everything and anything. And we're going to cram all of that into 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, before we start, though, we just want to mention we're sitting outdoors uh, because it is amazing weather. Yeah. But uh, as you may or may not know, we are busy with a, a restoration project. Our uh, fireplace almost collapsed. Yeah. And we had to remove the floor and like everything. It's a big black hole now. Yeah. So, so we have some people coming by. Yeah, Every we've got people and coming and going and we've got deliveries of different things so that you may hear some noise, some trucks, stuff like that. Um, and it is because of the activity that we've got here right now. I so, think right now Helmer yeah. is being and more Helmer noise. Helmer is being annoying right now with the <laughs> has this frisbee. wet and really dirty frisbee. Yeah. This one disappeared last autumn. Yeah. And it disappeared, disappeared, Arne. You know what that means. I threw it in the water on purpose. Yeah, because, I found it yeah. in the water in the spring. It was in, it, next to the border. It yeah. Was, or, is this one is mm. so dirty now. Yeah. Catch. Yeah, but if you start throwing it, <laughs> well, I, and then we have this the, the, this terrace is like uh, the carpenter said it's like a moving terrace because uh, if you have that um, the ice in the winter, he said it was smart not to have it attached to the walls because it can destroy things. So Just ignore him. Let, let's do yeah. this. So it's kind of it's kind of moving. So when Helmer is running now, you can hear everything moving. Yeah, but that's good. It's so, a nice noise. Yeah. It's, helmet. it's only helmet. Fre yeah. Freya, tell us Fre about Okay, it. so let's start uh, recapping uh, Freya and Helmer's situation. For those of you who don't know, Freya is our miniature poodle. Um, and Freya is right now on vacation. Uh, we've had to send her away, or we've sent her away for uh, a three week, all expenses paid <laughs> holiday. Uh, she is probably enjoying. Um, some lovely sunny days yeah. in uh, in a terrace, you know. Maybe Somewhere. maybe no. she ha she's <laughs> drinking her her water, uh, and there's an umbrella on it, you know, like a festive umbrella drink, you know. Yeah. And she's having the time of her life while uh, Arne, Helmer, Arne, Helmer, and I we're having like a, three weeks of boys uh, doing what boys do, yeah. uh, having a lot of fun. Because we couldn't have her at home because she has she's going through her period again yeah she's going through uh, Freya's on vacation because she's going through her thing <laughs> thing yeah so uh, and uh, when she going through the thing, thing Helmer goes bananas yeah actually he was uh, what you call that dribbling yeah no we said we sent her away <laughs> immediately uh, when it came her her thing so uh, yeah, so yeah. we are peace, peaceful now. Yeah, we have to keep them separate. Yeah, and long. now uh, keep in mind uh, our podcast is uh, recorded in Norway, but it actually goes out into the entire world. And uh, please uh, do not judge us. Um, and I just have to mention that every single country has different practices and also different laws. Um, in Norway, um, animal welfare laws are extremely strict. Um, and in Norway, uh, pets or dogs are not spayed and neutered unless there are uh, medical reasons. So if you have a healthy pet, the veterinarian will not spay and neuter. Yeah. And therefore, when you are a Norwegian uh, dog owner, if you have a male and a female, as, as we do, uh, you have to send one of them away twice a year, which mm -hmm. is what we do, so, um, so that nothing happens. Um, it is the way it is in Norway. There is nothing we can do about it. I, we know that uh, things work differently in other countries, and we know that people write comments about this because they don't agree. But, you know, it's not a question of agreeing and disagreeing. This is just the way the rules are in Norway, um, and we can't do anything about it. We do understand, we do understand that um, there are some benefits of spaying and neutering uh, dogs. We understand that. But we also understand uh, that uh, there are also risks in doing it. It's invasive surgery. Oh, yeah. 
and and yes, and, and it's just not done in Norway. Um, we also don't have a problem with overpopulation of dogs. We may have it with cats, mm. but there's no overpopulation of dogs. So we don't need to euthanize pets here in Norway or dogs. And uh, yeah, things things are different. Different countries, different practices. So we just want to mention that. But so I think that we have happy dogs. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. Our dogs are happy. Yeah. I was thinking about it when we caught them, because they came out of the from the the groomer. They looked so so fancy. They did. But yes. They're help. They they look fancy, but they're not like. They're not like just for decoration. No, no. They're no. really healthy dogs. They run out in the gardens. They can do walk. They're, they're long tours. Yeah, and in the winter they join us for skiing trips, yeah. and uh, they just have a lot of fun here. So we have um, happy dogs. Happy and healthy dogs, and uh, when one of them has her thing, she goes on vacation. And we have this, uh, like, uh, what you call a, a, a knickers? Like, the, the, yeah. The, for, for Freya, she has these panties. Mm. This uh, is a very strange thing. Yeah, but, but the, thing, the thing is, uh, so... <laughs> We actually only had Freya originally, that was in September last year. And then uh, we got Helmer um, as a long-term guest. And um, the first time I that he, Freya had her heat, uh, it took us a little while to react before we sent her away. Uh, because actually the first week of the dog's period is, um, is she, you know, she won't let him come near her anyway. <laughs> and then it actually gets bad in the second week. So we kind of That's let what it, you put on the t that, that yeah. trouser. But this time, this time we already saw what was coming, so we sent her away in time. Um, so we haven't had to use any of those things, and uh, yeah, we we sent her right on time. When when he started drooling, <laughs> that's when we sent her away. <laughs> so there was no action here for her this time. No. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so and Helmer is actually we thought he'd be depressed uh, when I we think sent Freya think he away. Missed, missed Freya, but then his uh, the other girlfriend. Yeah. Is in the house on the yeah, other side. Yeah, our neighbors of the have lake. A, a schnauzer. Um, and she, um, he's so happy when she arrives. Yeah. And, and she's she not in her, have her thing right now. <laughs> she had but, it last time she was here, though. Yeah. Yeah. So we but, have to keep uh, them away, of course. I think you should put that frisbee away, Helmut, because it's not nice. It's dirty yeah. and wet. Take the frisbee away. Anyway, this is this is Helmer now with his frisbee because we're outdoors and he loves it when we throw it. And uh, if you throw it again, but that's the problem. But if then you, he come back with If it. you throw it again, he'll come back. Yeah, he wants me to throw yeah. it again. Anyway, we got happy pets. They were groomed uh, on um, two weeks ago. Um, and uh, actually, what we usually do is we do a four for one, we like to call it. <laughs> so um, we get our hair cut in Oslo, so it means we have to drive two and, and I, a half hours. I, I have more or less the same hairstyle as Freya and Helmer when we uh, come home. Yeah. Yeah. You're all, I'm all frizzy. Uh, frizzy. Actually, no, they've got, you know, when Frey and Helmer leave the salon, they have straight hair. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. yeah, but they have that boom, yeah. on the top of the head, yeah. like I have. That's true, yeah. yeah. We usually do a four for one, meaning we all drive into Oslo and we all do our grooming at the same time. Frey and Helmer, they go to their groomer, and then Arne and I, we go to our hairdressers. Um, and uh, yeah, it takes three hours to, f to groom each of the dogs, so... Um, and actually what we do now is we go to a salon where there are two groomers. Yeah. So they groom Frey and Helmer simu si simultaneously for three hours. And us, it takes me about... We um, have the same groomer. He, he spent like one and a half hour on you and half an hour on yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Our groomer <laughs> is uh, one and a half hour, <laughs> half an hour. Um, yeah. And this is how we come out, I guess. Uh, however, uh, this time it wasn't possible because the day before we were going to go to Oslo... Um, he called to tell us that somebody in the salon or a hairdresser in his salon had uh, contracted COVID. And so they had to close the, the whole thing down for 10 days. Yeah. And when he called, they were already closed for three days. Apparently, some, there was a, a, a mishap with the calendar. So he didn't see that we were coming until, until it was the day before. So he had to make two trips. Yeah. And then, um, which is incredible, not only does it take three hours to groom Freya and Helmer, but also... Finding a groomer um, to do it at short notice is impossible. So uh, we realized re really quickly that we couldn't reschedule. We could reschedule ourselves to the week after, yeah. but we couldn't reschedule Frey and Helmer. So that meant going into the city two weeks ago to groom Frey and Helmer, and then going into the city last week, yeah. last, Wednesday, last Wednesday, to groom us. And we like to like 
if we go to Oslo, we like to do a lot of things just to get over it, kind mm. of finish a lot of stuff yeah. because it's it's a long drive. And yeah, it's two. It's nice two to do hours. everything in one mm -hmm. one on one trip. But this trip, it was just literally driving in. Yeah. Uh, was yeah, I went first. Yeah. And then you went, and then we just drove out. Yeah. Got home. Uh, Frey and Helmer were at home. Yeah. Alone. Home alone. Oh well. They were in each other's company. <laughs> so not so yeah. long. So that was a little bit of a bummer um, because, as we were saying, we had a monster week last week. It's been and, so busy. And yeah, and having to go to the to the hairdresser, having to take that day off because it's it's two and a half hours each way. So five hours plus the one and a half hour for me, and the half hour for Arne. That's seven hours, and there's always a little bit of a queue coming in and out of the city. So yeah. say eight hours. Uh, kind of wasted when we could have done it the week before. Yeah. So, um, it's, but it's the way it's, it's like. It's the way it is. Yeah. That's how it works. So Wednesday kind of disappeared from us. Um, but then again, the good thing is when we got home, we could work in the garden in the evening. Yeah. Because it doesn't get dark. No. Actually, it's really strange. It's a nice time actually because, like, you, you work in the garden and you think maybe you should go indoors and mm. watch something on TV or just relax indoors, mm. but. It's kind of, it gets so late before you get indoors. Yeah. Like sometimes you realize it's in, it's in the evening and it's like around nine o'clock mm. and it's still light outside. So it's kind of hard yeah. to sit indoors. It's very hard. And also the so, weather gets better in the evening. Uh, yeah. In the middle of the day, it has been very hot. Uh, <laughs> That's so Very nice. hot. We complain all the time. But then in the evening, you've got that you know, beautiful filtered yeah. evening light and also the temperature falls a little bit. So we like it when it's chilly, actually. We chilly, complain about not the cold, chilly. but we don't like it when it's too warm. And That's true. with the lake in the garden, it's, it's really warm because you get the reflection. Yeah, it's a reflector, water, so, so kind of. It's so warm. Yeah, and it's it also is. very dry, so we have like we have to water the plants maybe two times every day be when the sun is up because it mm. gets so dry. It does, uh, yeah. A lot of sun here. Um, so yeah, last week when we were doing sit in it for a bit, we'd had two or three days of temperatures that were beyond or above 80 Fahrenheit. So, so about uh, actually more. It was like 82, 83, like 30 degrees in the sun. And you've um, been on your knees for yeah. the whole week. Well, what I was going to say was um, after we recorded Sit In It for a bit last week, the temperatures dropped. Yeah. So now it's been in the very comfortable 20s, so somewhere between 20 and 25 uh, Celsius, which is in the mid 70s, I would say, in Fahrenheit. Mm, I don't know. Um, it's, yeah, it's around 20, 20 22, 24. Uh, a little bit cloudy, um, and then you get the clouds, the sun, you know, alternating, which is lovely. Yeah. Um, and this has been more comfortable, so yeah, I've been on my knees, um, weeding. Yeah, you've been cleaning all the well, flower beds. Well, I've been cleaning everything, everything behind garden. me. So right now we're sitting in our new terrace, which we have actually also completed this week. <laughs> Jeez, we've done a lot. Yeah, well, we managed to get the, the board after a yeah. while. And yeah, so, so so Monday and Tuesday we were working on the terrace, uh, and now he comes with a ball. Now it has a new thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't want to throw. Don't throw it away because now. then he's never going to stop. No. So yeah, Monday and Tuesday we were <laughs> we were working on uh, on building the deck that we are in. Uh, right now, uh, just in case you're wondering, we're facing our studio. Um, looking at our studio and we've got the our house behind us and there is a path from our studio to our house which has a lot of flower beds on on both sides and then it has gravel in the middle yeah. it's really beautiful uh, it's but a nice walk it's, it's a, a nice, nice walk, walk from the house to the studio when yeah. the studio will be finished and the that nice thing is that we've got these time. really big rocks uh, on that side yeah. um, and smaller ones on this side but then the the plants they kind of spread and they grow they grow sides. along the rocks on I think the gravel. To, take it away from him. I have to hide this one. Just take it away. It's so, I think put it behind there. Yeah. It's wet and disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so so uh, a lot of the plants that we have, they grow on the both sides of the gravel, but there is some weed that comes up yeah, in, in the, the gravel. gravel. So I have been on my knees picking that, and I've also been clearing the beds from weed mm. and old stuff that from last year. So it's been. Um, Wonderful, very I, meditative. I, 
You know, every job. time I see you walk over to the kitchen garden, to the compost place, I'm so happy. Mm. Because we get more nice soil yeah. for the garden, yeah. for the kitchen garden. Unfortunately, so though, nice. um, because I am uh, a Virgo, <laughs> Uh, when I was clearing uh, spe spe specifically this side, um, there was a lot of dried up stuff and dried leaves that I was clearing away and some of it fell on the gravel. So now, um, and this is probably insane. Have you finished it? Or? No, now I walk around with a bucket and I'm on my knees and I'm picking one and one, you know, little tiny leaves and these tiny little sticks. Arna said, when it rains, it's going to disappear. Yeah. But I'm just picking them like this, one by one, one by one, like this. It's a little crazy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but it not, looks it's good. Not well, it looks good. It's very, very nice. Yeah. I think you do a good job. I think you can continue yeah. doing that. Um, you know there's more in the other garden. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not so picky. So if you want to take yeah. a look at it. Yeah. And now there's weed popping up everywhere in between the rocks. Yeah, the problem, the problem this year is though, because of the building work, the yeah. building work is in our living room and our living room is the furthest room on the house. So it's that way. And the living room is connected to a really big terrace. And then from that terrace, you have access to the stone garden. Uh, the, the thing now is that the terrace is full of stuff and it's, there's the chimney and there's all the stuff is out there. The fireplace. Um, or the fireplace, not the chimney. The, the fireplace. fireplace is on, on there. And the good thing about this terrace is you don't see the mess on the other side. So I'm kind of a little bit reluctant to go to the stone garden right now because of the mess. Yeah, I think I think I don't I don't think I would spend much time there until this is finished. Mm. I don't know why, but it's like because we, we have to walk through that garden a lot yeah. with stuff for the house. I walk like room. this. I don't want to see the mess on that <laughs> side. So, but you know what's nice is that if you don't go into the garden every day, you get surprises. If you go like every second day or every third yeah. day, it's like, oh, something have happened. Mm, yeah. But I, I'm so disappointed because on our, on our trip to England, the garden tour we did with the knitters, was that last year? No, that was in 2020, no, 2019. In no, last 19, year was cancelled. Last year was cancelled, but in 19 we went to England and we, I got some nice seeds from England. And I think it was perennial flowers, mm. but I don't, they didn't survive. No. At least they haven't popped up yet, so I'm so disappointed. So now we have like one bed that is empty. Yeah, we need to go to the nursery and get something for that flower yeah. bed. I think we should go for more geraniums. Mm, I love the geraniums. But the problem Actually, I want more gera geraniums here. Yeah, because they're so beautiful. They, they, they like... They and then make, they grow in the, sh in the gravel. They also so pop beautiful. up in the gravel. And they make like, they cover up because they did mm. like... It comes out like a pillow. It's yeah. so beautiful. But the problem is that in Norway, it, there's hardly no new geraniums. Yeah. They're always the same brands every year. So it's like the, I don't know, Roxanne and mm. I think it's Baby Blue. But we still have to get a few more. I mean, yeah. we were hoping that those uh, plants would uh, come this year. And if they're not coming, it means we have to go in and buy something to fill up yeah. the spaces. Because, you know, you don't want to have a hole, a hole there. No, no, it's not. That, yeah. but what, if, what if we make that garden into a geranium garden? No, why not? In the future. In the future, yeah. If something dies, we put a geranium. It would be a beautiful idea. That could be nice, a geranium yeah. garden. Yeah. Because there's so many nice geraniums. Mm. The one like, remember the one we saw in Sissinghurst? Yeah. In Kent, they had this really big one with blue flowers. I think it was blue. And I've been looking for that and I haven't found it anywhere in Norway. What, what happened? No, I'm just getting a little bit of the sun over there. The sun here, you see? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't want to burn my forehead, so I might just sit like this. We can change <laughs> place. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's it's beautiful out here. So um, what a wonderful morning. It's getting huh? warm again. It's getting warm so, again. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, but we had a lesson. Um, I've always told Arne that what's cheap <sighs> is never cheap. It always, you know, if you if you do something to save a little bit of money, it's going to end up costing anyway. Yeah. So when we went to the hairdressers, we stopped by a hardware store and Arne found some screws for the terrace because we were screwing and we ran out yeah. and he found some that were like a third of the price of the ones we were buying. And they were not nice. And uh, yeah, and their head, the, um, and when we came, we realized that the head of those screws is really big. And you actually screwed it down. I just did it because I wanted to finish the whole thing. And now I regret. But I think I will change some of them. We may have to change them, which means we may have to buy a new pack. 
So, so it, it became expensive. So what you what you were saving your money on is now going to be uh, wasted. But you know, we have saved some money because now with the, the crisis in the building industry in Norway because of the material the things that doesn't come into Norway because mm. of the, the the borders are are locked. Yeah. The prices now is going up to the roof, they said. Yeah. So I'm happy we just ordered everything now because I think we had the old price because I ordered it before mm. the Price is right. It's so, so many weird things going on now with the COVID. I mean, it's kind of not over yet at all. And um, as we all know, I mean, if you if you do knitting or crochet or embroidery, you know that sometimes it's difficult to find your favorite yarns now because they can't deliver as much and there's issues with raw. Moose, 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 moose. No, wants, he wants to play. He wants to play. He really doesn't want us to do this podcast mm -hmm. right now. Anyway, yeah, it's been hard finding. Um, Finding raw materials for uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna you know what I'm gonna sit like this for the rest of the, <laughs> the show. Uh, no, it's been difficult finding um, raw materials for uh, yarn manufacture manufacturers. So it's been really hard getting the yarns you love. At least we've had that issue. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I've got some formal stuff that I have to do, um, and I have to submit some documents, and I need to take some photocopies um, for my. For the, for the thing that I'm oh, doing. I think we should talk about what you're doing in another podcast. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Because that's something we have to do big. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, we won't okay. tell you what I'm doing right now. But, but you're doing something But I have to important. submit some very important documents and I have to take photocopies. And um, we went to buy ink for our printer. And uh, we went to six different stores. No, I'm exaggerating. We went to three different stores. And in every store there was this big sign, you know, due to the pandemic. Um, it's we we are running out of ink for printers and of course which uh, printer do we have apparently we have the printer that all these stores have been selling to most people yeah. so that particular uh, cartridge sold out uh, so I kind of freaked out actually <laughs> I really freaked out but then they said yeah but if you have uh, problems uh, printing you can always go to the library and I said yeah yeah, yeah they you're probably right, have you're the right. same problem but yesterday I spent uh, I spent the morning uh, printing with what little ink I had left in the printer and uh, yeah I was very happy that I got everything printed that I needed or photocopied so now I can submit my documents and do the stuff mm -hmm. I'm doing but now we don't have to print for a long time I guess no no it's done I think we're fine we've now. done what we what we needed to yeah. do hey Helmer, are you being a little bit of a pain today huh but no. he's never maybe he's bored he can't be bored because i walked quite far this morning yeah. we were in the woods and we were walking in the woods and suddenly i heard this strange noise it's like yeah i got it here like an elephant who do you know an elephant oh it was a moose i guess he was probably watching us in the woods mm. and then i walked over the Mead, what's that in English? Uh, moor? The, the, moor? No, the moors? The, like, the, the mire? Uh, wet, Myers? Wet, wetlands? Wetlands? Yeah, it's kind of, there's moss and then there's water under. That's where the cloudberries grow. <laughs> yeah. Helmer, <laughs> nai, nai. I, I have to throw this out. Okay. Yeah. And and then I walked over this, this wetland thing where the, the cloudberry is growing, because that's where this bird is dancing in the yeah. morning. So. I was looking for it, but I, it was around seven o'clock, so it was too early. Mm. So, if I wake up early tomorrow, if you're going to find me, mm. I'm in the woods. Yeah. Because I have to go in there and hide and stay so there. So, is this four. the bird? That's the one I'm. Yeah. So in Norwegian, this is a difficult one. I mean, we we looked it up before uh, starting the podcast. I have a nice book for this. So picture. yeah, in Norwegian, it's called a tiur. So T I U R tiur. Or big bird, stool for bird. Or stool for big bird. Um, yeah, you've got a great photograph. This this book is so beautiful. I found this in a second-hand shop or in an antiquariat. Was that in English? Yeah, an antiquarian bookstore. This is an old bird book. We used this when we did the book about birds, and I found this nice picture. So yeah. this is a stulfugger. Yeah, or tiur. This one, tiur. And this one is playing now in the woods. Mm, and it's making beautiful. this sound and it's playing, but you have to hide and you have to be early in the morning and sometimes they can also a attack you yeah. but then there are another one called uh, yeah. that's the one no you no no this is but let me let me before you go on that bird let me tell uh, our viewers what this is in english so the tiur uh, or sturfull mm -hmm. the latin name is tetrao urugalus it's a western 
Caper Kylie. Caper Caper Kylie. Uh, it's also known as the Eurasian Caper Kylie, wood grouse, or heathercock, cock of the woods, or simply Caper Kylie. I really don't know how to pronounce this, uh, but I can spell it out for you. It's C A P E R C A I L L I E. So it's anyway, it says here it's a heavy member of the grouse family and the largest of all extant grouse species. The heaviest known specimen uh, had a weight of 7.2 kilograms, which is 16 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's found Eight. across, yeah, it's found across Europe and the Palearctic. Uh, it's primarily ground dwelling forest grouse uh, is renowned for its courtship display. The yeah. birds show some extreme se sexual <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. It's like Freya. Uh, it's like Freya right now, uh, pretty much. So I'm gonna look for this one, but but then I'm not sure because you have the other one, Ulfugur, which is this one. This one is also a big bird out in the woods, and this one is also playing. It is? Yeah. So I have to put on my, you know, the green yeah, and jacket that is now called my safari jacket. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and th this one is a uh, black grouse. Black so grouse. this is the yeah this is the northern black grouse the Eurasian black grouse black game or black cock it's a large game bird in the grouse family it is sedentary species spanning across the Palearctic in moorland and steppe habitat when breeding often near wooden wooded areas which is here uh, they will spend the winter perched in dense forest which is here mm -hmm. feeding almost exclusively on the needles of conifers which is here. Uh, the black grouse is one of two species of grouse in the genus Lirurus, <laughs> the other being the lesser known Caucasian grouse. Mm -hmm. And so we have to go early in the morning and look for it. Mm. I think. And again, this is a Eurasian species, just as the, uh, the just as one. the, uh, yeah, the yeah, just as the wood, wood grouse. Um, so they are, they are actually, it's interesting when you look at the map, it's basically Scandinavia, Finland, so the, yeah, Scandinavia and Finland and Russia and Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, um, Belarus. It's going down. Also England. Um, oh, uh, Scotland, Scotland, actually. Uh, looks because like a little bit in Wales as well. Oh, and then down in Italy in the Dolomites. Yeah. Because we have this. And in Switzerland and like Austria. A, what's it called? Enso, en, encyclopedia? No. What's it called? Like a lexicon? Oh, uh, encyclopedia. Yeah, about bird, uh, animals. <laughs> And I was looking for these two birds in that book. This is a big book in English, and mm. in the book I found this one, or figured, but I didn't find this one. Mm -hmm. I found that very strange that it wasn't yeah. in this book. Yeah, so, we're very lucky to live where we live. We live up in the high mountains uh, in the south of Norway. This is our, our place of uh, inspiration. Uh, we got a lot of inspiration from the beautiful nature around us. We've got a beautiful lake, with, which yeah. has trout and we, then we have the oh it's really getting uh, so now <laughs> we're going to do like serious bird watching yeah cars. and we have uh, a lot of bird watching possibilities as well which mm -hmm. is nice so um so all in all it's a wonderful beautiful place and uh, yeah <laughs> is it, the sun does it bother you no well yeah i just don't want to get the sun in my eyes but there are clouds coming yeah so i'll just cuddle up with you yeah. for a while and then <laughs> <laughs> and then when when the when the weather gets better uh, I'll I'll move away. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, so it's it's uh, it's uh, it's lovely living here. Um so we have and yeah. Like so so I can imagine Arne will be hiding in the bushes. Will you be wearing camouflage? No, I'm wearing my green jacket. You know the one I Well, that's use. camouflage. It's, it doesn't have a lot of green. No, but you're going to be camouflaged green. for the uh for the, yeah. my bird watching. I can yeah. either bring my, the camera. You know what? You phone. can borrow this as well if you want yeah. it. So you it's can do. the same color. You can do green on green on green and uh, and just go to the but forest. But you know that that jacket I had, and I was actually thinking about throwing it away. Mm -hmm. My garden jacket that is like green, mm -hmm. and I was thinking I should throw it away. But then you washed it. Yeah. And I used it when we went to South to Africa to South. Well, Africa. yeah. You can't wear you can't wear fuchsia when you're going on safari in no, South Africa. You have to. Because, because, because you know the animals are gonna you will eat be you attacked up. by yeah. the lions. You need to wear something, something. Yeah. camouflage. So I was very camouflaged. Yeah, I was in beige and you were in green. Um, yeah. You and want I, to change seat? No, no, I'm okay. I'm you okay. Like no, 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 no. I'll just cuddle up with you. No problem. You're the always. No problem. Okay. Unless you don't want me to sit here like this. No, it's fine. Yeah. You can cuddle up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, so I can't, I can't wait to see you hiding in the bushes with your binoculars, and maybe you'll you'll wear a funny green hat as well or something. Uh, if I find a green hat, I think I have to wear yeah. it. But I'm, I think I have to leave around four o'clock in the morning oh, because boy. our neighbor said this, she heard that noise. Mm. That yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. The 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 sound of the grouse. <laughs> So, well, yeah. Well, and, and then, then I know where they are. Yeah. I just have to be there early and hide. Hmm. Four in the morning may sound very early to you guys, but when the nights are so long as they are here in the north right now, it isn't because we wake up anyway. Even if we had blackout blinds, the birds wake us up. So and they I was start up early. I was up at like ten to five or something yeah. like and that. The birds were singing. Yeah. yeah, and I went back to bed and I had a little bit of a, a snooze for another hour, and then you know the birds are making all the noise and, yeah. and, and we have had some more exciting oh, things yeah. happening so, this so week. Monday, Tuesday, terrace building and gardening a lot. Uh, Wednesday, hairdresser. Uh, and actually Tuesday we also went over to visit your family, so that yeah. was fun. Uh, Wednesday, hairdresser Oslo and then working in the garden in the evening. Thursday, working here all day. And not only working in the garden, we have also been uh, assisting uh, our carpenter uh, in um, demolishing stuff yeah, and c carrying stuff carrying stuff we um, and Arne started a little uh, recycling project because we have throughout the years recycled brick yeah you want to talk about that Yeah, because like when we made our stone garden we decided to have this path with red bricks because we had some red bricks after we we, we tear down half of the studio because that was twice as big in the old days and it was rotten. Right. So just... we, we used all the bricks and then we found bricks in the water. Some people have just... What do you call that? What do you call that, Carl? Sorry, I was distracted. People have... Dropped. No. Oh yeah, they dropped. They threw yeah. bricks <laughs> they in the threw lake. They threw bricks in the lake, so we were picking lake uh, brick from the lake and there are houses in the woods that are falling down so we go and pick bricks hmm. so we build that and now we are actually we also made a red uh, a floor in the greenhouse hmm. with red bricks and now when we tear down the fireplace in the living room there were more red bricks yeah so we're making a little like a space yeah we're actually the yeah we're laying with... bricks on the ground around the, the greenhouse the greenhouse actually has old recycled bricks as a floor indoors yep. and now we're taking the same concept outdoors so that there's um, there's a uh, no transition between the indoors and the outdoors of our greenhouse so it's gonna have it's gonna <laughs> okay there you go well if it goes in the water now I he, hope he's... it goes in the water yeah except he'll oh, no, no it didn't go in the water Oh. Now something is coming. Yeah, something's going on. Anyway, okay. anyway, forget yeah. about it. Okay. So yeah. Um, <laughs> can you stop it? Helmer? Can I stop Helmer? No, there's no stopping unless it goes in the water. Let's see. No. Yeah, he really doesn't want us to do this today. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's it's a really nice process, and uh, we actually posted a video on um, a few days ago yeah. uh, of, of of laying the bricks, kind of using a hammer to get rid of the cement. Yeah. And, and then putting them down and then and then what we do is we just put them down loose and then we put gravel and sand around them and that's it so yeah. it's very simple a very simple solution we don't we don't attach them with anything no, just um, put them down and, and actually the the if if moss starts growing in between the bricks it's very attractive it's very nice and it does actually like when you're in like where the shadows are there's a lot of moss mm. so yeah so it's yeah. I think it's uh, something coming, the, like the insulation. For yeah. the, but we're, they can put it out there. Yeah, we're getting, early. we're getting, we are sorry, <laughs> we're getting delivered right now, which is cool. But but you A know delivery. what? We're not gonna get up uh, for you for and uh, leave you guys because of the delivery. They'll just deliver. they know where to put it. They know so where to no put problem. it. Yeah. So um, and Helmer is now communicating with his girlfriend on the other side of the lake. So it's. It's better they bark than... Um, because now the ball is in the water. Good. I managed to throw it in the water, good. so we pick it up later. on the other side later. And then if he brings the frisbee, we'll throw that in the water. He hasn't learned how to get in the water yet, but he loves the water. So uh, I think that in the summer we might teach him... To swim? How to, well, he knows how to swim, so we just have to teach we him... We have to teach him how to get how to, Yeah, how to get in the water and, and you know, to get used because to that. Because he's a little bit afraid right now yeah. of the water, but... Anyway, so so that yeah, and then we had some major things happening in the weekend. It started on Friday with a photo shoot for Rowan. Uh, we shot uh, the second part of our collection, 
That was fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun. The collection will be released in two parts. The first part will be released in October, second part in November. Yep. Uh, in order to do a winter shoot in the middle of or in the beginning of summer, uh, we had to go to the high mountains here in Norway, above the tree line. Um, we drove for about an, an hour and a half, two hours yep. um, up. Um, and uh, when you drive to the tree line or, and above that here, um, this time of the year, there's still snow. Yeah, uh, it was actually really cold. I and it was re it was actually beautiful. Uh, but stunning. It was very cold, so it's what's kind of strange going from this to yeah. that. It's, we went from strange. we went from about 25 degrees Celsius, um, and when we, as we were rising in the mountain, by the time we started shooting, it was three degrees Celsius. Mm. So uh, our temperature our temperature oh. dropped with 22 degrees in just a matter of an yeah. hour. Uh, yeah. It was an amazing shoot. Uh, it was so beautiful. It was really nice up there. Now. And uh, again, yeah. we were modeling the clothes ourselves. Uh, we did post a little, uh, a little uh, reels on Instagram of um, of me doing Arna's hair because you know, because due to the COVID restrictions as well, we've been trying to not involve many people. Mm. So. Um, I was doing, I was getting Arne's hair ready. You got um, my curls back. Yeah. Because sometimes they disappear. Yeah. And the look we were going for, and, and we posted a little, a little uh, snippet on Instagram. I'm curly today. Yeah. 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 You yeah. are. You haven't styled me. No, no. Today you're yourself. Uh, <laughs> and actually, but you were yourself on the shoot. That's what I was going to say. So we did the, uh, we did the shoot on Friday. And before the photographer arrived, I did um, Arne's hair, but it's not, I wasn't styling it. Um, some people were complaining that no. We like you better with your natural hair. But that's what we were aiming for, natural hair on Arne. Um, and, and the only thing I was doing was with a, with a blow dryer and the diffuser, I was just uh, bring, bringing it in. Don't feel to, guilty. No, I don't feel guilty. But what I was going to say was with the diffuser, <laughs> I was just uh, enhancing his curls. You know, I'm just happy I have hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> anyway, I, w I was using the diffuser to kind of enhance his, his curls. Um, and then I, I sprayed a little bit on the sides to get a little bit yeah. of a nice you did it so look. Well. And then I accidentally sprayed your eyes, but... That was fun. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, but that's, that's why we posted it. Yeah, I did apologize. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I apologized. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, when, when, uh, when we went to drive, his curls were really tight because of the of the hair dryer and then when we got up to the mountains I just you know did that to, to get it to look amazing yeah and, and the only thing that it was different on Friday compared to now was you had more curls and they were more more defined yeah. than what you now I would call it more frizzy and on on, on, when, on Friday it was more curly but it was a natural look um, unlike mine I have my helmet yeah, as usual. Your hair yeah. doesn't move. No, it doesn't But move. you have a lot of hair. It's so thick. Yeah. So. Well, I have the curse of uh, very thick, very straight hair. Um, and if I don't do this, uh, I look like a mushroom. So <laughs> it's either look like a mushroom yeah. or look like this. That's like if you go to places where the weather is like humid places. I hate humid uh, weather. I get my curls get so nice. They well, yeah, if you go get curly, exactly. I can feel it crawling up. Yeah, if you go to a place where the weather is humid, your hair looks exactly like what it looked like on Friday. Yeah, but your hair, you turn into a mushroom yeah. because your is rising. I hate humid climate. <laughs> it's so cool. I hate so humid cool. climate. If I go to a place with humid climate, uh, I just make sure to cut my hair really short because I don't want to deal with that. No. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it was a fantastic shoot and we can't wait to uh, show you guys. Um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, really amazing so and there's big news coming as well because we are doing something new new and special but you know we're not gonna tell you this is just a teaser uh, and then on um, and so that was Friday uh, then we got back you know we went down from the three degrees back to 25 and kept gardening yeah um, so it was very nice and then Saturday we had Anna and Eric here for a for a little session. So we uh, make uh, new videos for Sunday videos. Yeah, we recorded. That's not a moose. That mm -hmm. is Someone's people. coming, <laughs> some carpenter or something. Yeah, so we had our, uh, our, um, our uh, shoot on, uh, our video shoot on, on um, Saturday. We recorded all the episodes yeah. for um, August. August. And then because we're gonna take a summer holiday in July, we've also rec uh, recorded new commentary that we're going to add to some of our favorite reruns. So you can enjoy our uh, favorite reruns with some new commentary uh, this summer. Yeah. We did that. And we made some new plans mm. with the people. 
And then yesterday, which was Sunday, because today is Monday the 7th of June. Yeah, when we film it, it's yeah. Monday. When you see it, when you see it it's, it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 9th of June. Anyway, so uh, yesterday, Sunday, we were enjoying a day off. Yeah. But I was still on my knees, uh, yeah. and you were on your knees too. Yeah. And I was cleaning. I'm still cleaning the studio, because now when we mm. tore out the floor in the other room, there was like this underfloor, and I used the wood from the underfloor to make shelves. Yeah, and, and also the instant. Yeah, oh, I was so room. impressed, it and also, so also because we're going to do a new type of flooring. The flooring is going to have concrete, uh, and then we're going to put our cables, the cable or the pipes that bring in the geothermal heat. Yeah. Uh, so the, all the insulation that we had on the floors is not going to be used. We need to get new insulation, and so we are uh, Actually, using. Actually, we're not having insulation because we're having that water. Yeah, types. exactly. Yeah. So, so the insulation from the old floor goes into the studio. So we actually we are re. Yeah, you so because we haven't recycling. insulated the walls in our studio, which is that away. Yeah, so I think it's enough for one wall at least. I think it looks amazing. Floor. I was so impressed with your work. And my shelves are so. I you should do sit and knit in front of those shelves. But yeah. first, I have to finish another project. Yeah, I thought it looked really, really beautiful. Now you're happy. The sun is behind the cloud. Yeah, now, now, yeah, but I, you know what? I don't mind sitting no, no. like that. <laughs> <laughs> And then, I ha then when I was uh, moving stuff around, I found something really beautiful. Oh, yeah. And I, I was thinking I should go through some magazine and throw some in the recycle bin. But, but not this one. But this is so beautiful. This is a, it's from 2014. It's, it's uh, the Hamanaka... Knitting yarn. Yeah, knitting Hamanaka yarn. is a yarn brand in Japan. Yeah, and we, we were We worked there with once. them, yes. And when I opened this one and looked through it, it's so beautiful. So I can't throw this no, away. No, this no, is no. this will be saved. Who make a yarn sample book or what you call it looking like this? Yeah, they have amazing yarn. This is just so so amazing. Beautiful. And it's, look at this with the shiny yarn. It's spectacular. I think this book is just so beautiful. Mm. You can't throw this away. So this will be in the... Yeah, and I mean, we've done some pretty, you know, in our past, we've had some pretty spectacular venues where we've done uh, workshops. I do, re I, and there's some that really stick in your mind forever. One of them was um, at the Dulwich Picture Gallery oh, in London, so cool. uh, where actually we were doing the, the workshop in the main room, surrounded by paintings by Rembrandt and Thomas Gainsborough and, and, and that, all. Mm, and that was and, the time when they had that uh, Austrian Exhibition. Yeah, exactly. And that was amazing also because we, while we were setting up, uh, the people there had to go and get chairs and tables. And suddenly we were all alone in a room with all these master paintings. And there was no one there. There was no security. There was no one there. It was just Arne and me. And we were, you know, what, we just let everything go. I mean, yeah. whatever we were setting up, we just dropped it. And we took the opportunity to spend an amazing half hour, 40 minutes, just admiring all these beautiful paintings in absolute silence, that completely alone. That was one alone. of the best workshop places. One of the, but, but, but uh, I have to say, our Hamanaka workshop yeah, in, in Kyoto was incredible as well. So Hamanaka is a yarn brand from Kyoto in Japan. And when we did our workshop there, uh, Hamanaka has a store in a, one of these very traditional Japanese Kyoto houses. The Kyoto houses are very narrow and very long, and then usually they have a Japanese garden in the end. Mm. And it was just so spectacular arriving there and the owner of uh, the yarn brand, uh, Hamanaka, she, uh, I th she was dressed in, in a kimono for the occasion yeah. to welcome us. And it was this very traditional room with tatami mats and yeah. we were sitting on the floor the, the way that the Japanese so nice. do it. And it was just so serene and so peaceful. Did we do the primrose there? Or what did we do? We did the primrose there the with, primrose. with the Hamanaka yarn, yeah. which was amazing. And the same in the, yeah. the picture gallery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this, is, this must be from 2014 because of yeah. the... It's the yarn. Well, this is from 2014 and this is the year when we actually did that workshop. Yeah. So, so this was, was the actual colors, yeah. the yarn. Yeah, so, so we've done some pretty, pretty amazing. Those are two that pop up, but, mm. but we've done more um, incredible. Uh, but this, I think this is so beautiful. It's yeah. going into the archives, Carl. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, any projects? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, this week, in between all the other stuff, I've been sewing tails on the Auden blanket because now this is growing. This is going, getting yeah. So oh yeah, Auden blanket is growing and growing and growing. And look, 
I, it's I, fantastic. But you can't crochet the tail from the the crochet together thing. So this we have to yeah. sew in, and we are yeah. But you could count sewing. you could count those those weaving in threads in the you could count them with four hands. They're no, not there's that not many. there's not many, and then. But yeah, it's I, growing I, a lot. I had my calculation went really wrong because I think how many do I have? I have like I think it's fifteen on the width and mm -hmm. six seventeen on the length mm -hmm. because I had so many blocks. Yeah. And then I found out when I was crocheting, I miss. I think I miss seven blocks. Okay. Maybe I I miscalculated mm. or maybe I have them somewhere in the stash. Maybe yeah. So I had to look for that before I do more because. Yeah. If not, I have to crochet seven more. And, mm. But this is big now. It's really big, yeah. Really, really big. And, and then I will finish it. Crochet around the edge when I have all of the... Yeah, and so if you're not familiar with this crochet project, we've been showing it a few times. Um, it's actually like a miniature granny square. It's a, a smaller one. It's like with a little um, And actually it has star. a flower or a little star around it. Um, it's actually easier to do than a regular granny square. Um, it's super easy and the most fun thing about this is all the colors that you can get to put together like a little puzzle mm -hmm. um, And if you want to get the pattern for this, we've got it in our web shop at arnacarlos.com. It's, ca it's called Audun uh, Audun is um, a men's name in Norway so, and it's spelled A-U-D-U-N Audun yeah. And now when I finish, like when I do the edge around, I don't have to sew mm. the tails that are on the edge because these tails I can crochet around, yeah. so this will co be covered up. But yeah. the the tails inside, but there's not so many left. No. So this is something I've been doing in between, but then I'm a little bit hooked on this other project. Yeah. Because oh, before that, can we show this one? Can yeah. I show this one? But now I'm not sure where it came from. It, it came, yeah, it must have come from her. Or the other one. Okay, so um, <laughs> if you've been following our podcast this this spring, you will know about the lady who is either blind, dead, or bored. Uh, who send all her stuff to uh, a thrift shop and then unfinished Arnhem... Unfinished objects. Well, not all of them. No. Well, I, well I, yeah, this is an unfinished object too. It's just finished, yeah. done. Anyway, the, the blind slash dead slash bored lady, uh, you know, among the things that Arne purchased, uh, he actually purchased a lot of, or all her stuff, and he's finishing it. But we did find a object that is finished in the sense that the whole thing is embroidered. Yeah. But it is uh, it is unfinished in the sense that you it's see not. See how it looks on the side. I think this is from. I think, I think this is from her. Yeah. But we have something similar from yeah, the, the other lady. Which lady? Oh, the one that gave yeah. us. Two did. Yeah, two did. Anyway, the, this this is an unfinished object from the bored, dead, or uh, <laughs> blind lady. I, we don't know what she no. is or where she is. Anyway, um, we're gonna do something with this as well. Yeah, I think I. W there are some stains on it, so this I will wash mm -hmm. and then we just finish it. Yeah. So it will be a little bit smaller because we can't sew on the edge because it's a little bit... What do you call that? Yeah, Rough. it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's disintegrating yeah. the edge. So we're going to sew a little bit mm. inside the edge. And make something with it. And I decided this one will have the red fabric we have yeah. on the other one. So this is a new project we're going to finish. Then I'm still working on the cat. I haven't yeah. decided yet what to have the cats we showed last mm. time. Then so we got something project. from. Then we got something from a very dear friend uh, who we've never met, but we should we, go to meet as soon as they open. Yeah, the but we're going to go visit her in England as soon as we can. Kate from the last homely house. If you're not watching her channel, you should. Um, and she's got she's doing some fabulous things with quilting right yeah. now, and it makes me want to start quilting We should definitely do some quilting anyway Kate but not now. Yeah, Kate, uh, <laughs> you know suddenly, you know now and then she'll send us a little gift Because uh, she makes stuff to sell in her. She's got a little web shop, and she's got this great little um, Warehouse now <laughs> with her with her daughter-in-law. They're they're packing things. I'm sure yeah. they're 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 wrapping things beautifully and putting all the love in the things that they're sending out. They've got like homemade candles and and and, and she sent us this uh, tea towel. I believe it is. Um, yeah. It's really nice. It's so nice. It's got this whole. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but and she said that some of her customers they were they are actually doing embroidery. Yeah. On these drawings. And we're so going to do that too. that's maybe something we should try yeah. also in the future. So thank you, Kate, for sending us another 
Oh, look, UFO. the sun is coming so yeah, strong. So exactly. now, now I have to go this yeah, way. Yeah, okay, come, come, because come, come. I have this come on, black. Yeah. I have a black shadow. Hey, hey come, on. come on. There's room for all here. Yeah. Anyway, Kate, thank you so much for sending us an unfinished object that now we have to finish. Uh, <laughs> but we look forward to that. We will embroider a little bit on it. Um, but I think maybe more pops of color here and there, not the whole thing. No, um, just the, the thing. I have to say, I really like the material. I, I really like this, uh, this material. It's great. And we're going to use this. Uh, I've got a lot of lovely kitchen towels because I collect them. Um, and I think I'm going to definitely hang this when it's done on, um, on my stove, on the handle of my mm -hmm. oven. But you have to and add some embroidery. Yeah. I think that was a good idea. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And use it as a, as a kitchen towel. And it's got all these things that we love. I mean, look here. It's got bees. <laughs> it's got bees. Chickens. And look, chicken. Or it could it's be our a wood. turkey. A duck. Or maybe this is a wood grouse. A tiur. No, this is kitchen related. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's a turkey. It's There's food. a cat. There's no dog. <laughs> There's no poodle here. No. Um, yeah. And then it's got all the little mm. things in jars, like needles and buttons. And yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Nice. Thank you so much, Kate. Um, and thank you for offering us another unfinished object. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we need. Exactly. So that's definitely what we need. Okay. Ah. In between the carpeting and the things I started on this project, it's the, um, I think we showed the book last time, this old knitting pattern. Mm -hmm. And actually four of this could make a pillow. And we also made a, we made a tutorial now how we do the Kitchener to join these pieces. And, but I'm not going to stop there. I, no. I, th I think it's so fun and I'm going to do something with it. It's a yeah. nice pattern. So, um, I really love, oh, no. No, well, I have to come yeah. into the sun now because... I want to just mention, um, because I really love this, there is a lot of, there's a lot of texture there. And when you start adding them, it becomes an argyle as well. If, mm. if you can see, there's um, there's the floral, and then when you add, and then there's the cross that goes um, across the flower. And when you add two, you start getting an argyle pattern. And I'm really, really into this. And I'm thinking, what You're an thinking amazing sweater. what an amazing sweater this would make. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, a blanket. It would make an amazing blanket as well. You and know. they're squares, and then you just kitchener yeah. them in. But you know, Carl, I think we have to move the bench because, see, I'm, half of the picture is disappearing because it's, the sun is getting uh, so think, strong now. I'm th I think you'll be okay. You, yeah? Yeah. Just come to me. Come, come, come. Ah. There you go. <laughs> you see, it's easy see, to now solve. We're in the, and then the sun, and the went. sun went. Anyway, this is a great project. We did a tutorial uh, when Anna and Eric were here. Oh, you don't want to sit next to me? I can, but we don't have to. Okay. No. Anyway, there's a tutorial uh, coming up. Uh, we <laughs> recorded it on Saturday with Anna and Eric about that. Um, and there's going to be more because... Yeah, we have to do more. Yeah. Our, and when, when, when we make this, so many ideas pop up. But we have to just work on it mm -hmm. and we can give you some ideas. Yeah. So we should actually post this pattern. Oh, we will. Yeah. Not now, but after summer. But I think this could be a very cool yeah. sweater. Definitely. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. based Amazing. on those squares. Amazing sweater. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Or a blanket. Or a pillow. Or a pillow. This is actually like in the old days, this pattern was used for blankets, but we changed a lot on the, fl on the fl flower. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things we don't add and we have changed things. Mm. So this is this is an, something we worked on this week, and yeah. it's a bit crazy working on white when you do all these things yeah. in the garden, but I think it's not so d dirty. No, yet. and that's why we're not doing uh, full costume work right now, no. because of all the dust inside our house and the gardening, so there's no way we can... And we have something, re I have a big thing to do on my shirt, my full yeah. costume shirt, because I felt there was something off with one of the sleeves, and... Both, seven, actually. I think the other one is fine because it, I, I don't know, they're a bit strange. But when I turned the shirt backwards and put, tried it on, tried it on backwards, they were fine. So I guess I have on my shirt, I put the sleeve the opposite way. Yeah. So I have it's to easy. Take out it's easy. I mean, it's quite incredible because you have a background in tailoring 
of, of yeah, many things. I'm, your but, work came out good. Yeah, you have a background in tailoring, but the problem with the sleeves was that they were identical. Yeah. And uh, it, when they are, when they look exactly the same, um, I guess it's. Yeah, and like on a normal shirt, the, the split, the splits, or what yeah. you call that, that is like on a little bit on the side, mm -hmm. but on these, it's just yeah, under the arm. Here. And the only thing, like the only way to find out is that you're actually very careful when you try it on before you sew yeah. it because there are the edge of the sleeve has this curve going like mm. that so where it goes up that should be in the front and where it goes down it should be in the back and then, and the, then i yeah. messed it up and then the next problem is the volume of the sleeve it's very voluminous it's got this huge volume yeah. and so what happens when when you wear it is that actually this part here it ends up here yeah, because of all the volume um and it looks yeah. like your sleeve is wrong. I have an, a little bit of the same issue on mine, but I tried it on backwards, and mine is probably okay. I think yours okay. is good. So but yeah, mine, mine is the problem. I have to try it on again and see if it's both of the sleeves yeah. or it's just one of the sleeves. I'd but say that's part of, that's kind of like yeah. some part of having a folk costume because it doesn't bother me if I have to take the sleeves out and sh change it mm. because like, if, like for the trousers, we have to change a lot of things on the trousers because mm, we're losing it's weight. getting wider now. <laughs> yeah. So we're, I guess we have to, I think we have to open both your and mine yeah. in the back. We have to remove some fabric because there's so much fabric there. Mm. So, but that is part of having a folk costume because yeah. you are actually changing it every now and then. You can sew it out, you can sew it in. Like, yeah, all that extra, all that extra gardening, or all that gardening and uh, work that we're doing right now is helping us get rid of all those extra COVID kilos and pounds. And I mentioned both because that's how much we gained. Yeah. And now, and now we're getting back to our original uh, body. And it means, um, in my yeah. case, in my case, we'll need to sew in the vest and the trousers, both of them, because I won't be able to wear those trousers. I'm really scary about sewing the vest because the the waistcoats, the waistcoats, waistcoats. because that, they are harder. Yeah. So, well, but we can do it. Yeah. But it's kind of part of having a folk mm. costume. We will, so. we will resume uh, the folk costume work in the fall. Um, and uh, just as last year, when you were, um, you were getting updates every week uh, of our progress, you will get updates of our progress in the fall as well. We will be doing, uh, yeah, we'll be, we will be sewing the jacket um, as well as the second vest that we got, which mm -hmm. is the tartan. We will tell you more about that vest uh, when we start sewing it. And then all the alterations we have to do on the shirts, uh, the, the waistcoast and the trousers will keep you updated. Yeah. It's definitely a work in progress, don't you say? Yeah. And as soon don't as... Don't you think? Yeah. It's like... It's a, yeah. But I think for Christmas we will have the jackets. Right? Yeah. And then we'll see about hats. Those we are buying. Yeah, we're buying the hats. Yeah, we're not gonna make them. We're not gonna make the hats. Mm. And and when we went out for 17 of May, I saw one of the the guests in our friend friend's house. He had his knife. Yeah. And he had the same knife as the one I have that I got from my confirmation. But you should wear the knife as well. But I forgot about it. Yeah, but you should wear it. I should, actually, I, I was, I was something was missing on my fall costume before because I forgot to wear the knife, mm. and I want to have those. Um, oh, the braces, braces as well, yeah. Because I, the trousers are falling down. Yeah, I don't have a knife, and I don't think I'm going to get one. But um, it's part of the thing. It is part of the costume. I, well, I may get one. Maybe I'll get one as a gift, and then I, I won't be able to say no. Uh, Maybe it's under the Christmas tree. Well, who you knows? Know. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, yeah, and then I want to get the handkerchief as well. There's a silk scarf to wear as well. Yeah. Because um, I was feeling a little naked without that. Everybody else had a, in, in, on May 17th, everybody else had the hanky yes, around have, the neck. You should have one. So I'm going to get the hanky as well. So there's a lot of stuff to get. Yeah. There's always something to yeah. get. Um, also, we have really fun plans for, for sitting it for a bit in the fall. Uh, among other things, we're going to do the whole thing with the fall costume and finish them. And then we also plan on doing um, a couple of sweaters. Uh, um, from beginning to end and updating you weekly on the prog progress yeah. and then re releasing the pattern. We're looking into doing a couple of very basic sweaters. One of them is going to be in brioche. Yeah, because... And the other one we don't know yet. No. 
Because knitting brioche the way we do is so easy and fun, and so it's so quick. Yeah. So and you know just what's one funny? Color. We want simple, clean, and a nice color. You know what's funny? Even though we have the coolest pearl in the world, because the Norwegian pearl is really cool. The coolest pearl. I, it's not. World. No, I'm just. I'm just joking. It's not the coolest. But even though it we have a, cool. we have a very interesting way to pearl, um, and even though we personally think it makes it quicker. Norwegians go out of their way to avoid pearling. I mean, that's why they knit in the round and they do steaking when they do color work. And here's the thing, so when Norwegians do color work, they knit in the round to avoid pearling. And then when Norwegians do the um, brioche, they knit flat mm. to avoid pearling. Uh, and so you knit uh, in pieces and then you sew so it together. Did. But Carl, look, what, look on the floor. Yeah, we've got a big bumblebee. A bumblebee who crashed with a chair and now she's on her back. Yeah, do you want to save it? I think you have to save her. Let's go save Well, you I'm go save it. I'm going to save that bumblebee. Yeah, yeah so anyway, that's, that's, the, that's the irony of it all. Uh, that The Norwegians just don't like pearling. Oh, you saved it. Okay. I, I'm back. Poor thing, do I, you I think if it falls, do you think if it's on its back it won't be able to breathe? Well, it didn't get up, so I think I, I saved her now. Yeah. And now she's a little bit confused. Yeah, she might have had a little concussion or something. Yeah. Oh, she's getting on back she's, on she's her coming. legs. She's coming. She's back. Yeah, she's back. Um, so you saved a bumblebee today. That's that's a good thing to do. You can that, feel good about yourself no, no, she's today. Wa she's walking. Yeah. She's slowly coming back to her old self. She's yeah, getting back to normal. We definitely have a lot of nature here. Yeah. And we had some other news this week. Oh, she's gone. Okay. She's she's back. She's flying. Mm. <laughs> I saved the bumblebee. Bye, bumblebee. <laughs> I saved save the bumblebee today. So what else is new? Look, I got that. Oh, one. yeah. So uh, we have been talking about our, our beetle from 1968 or 69. 68. 68. But ours is from nine. Uh, our model is 68, but it was produced in 69. Anyway, we have uh, <laughs> been talking about the safety belts on the back. Which I did. I so, managed to put them in and I found this video on YouTube. It's Dan and Dory. Dan and Dory. I think Dory is the car. He's a young boy from somewhere. He had these videos where he do fun mm. beetle things. Yeah. So I watched his video and I could put them in the car. Yeah. I'm so good. So we've installed safety belts in the back of the car. So now Freya and I can sit in the front and Helma can sit in the back. Yeah. Well, no, sorry, Freya can sit in the back too. They you can both be two. in the back with the uh, yeah. safety belt. And I'm going to give this to you because I know you want to show it. Arne could not resist, I so... Couldn't. Look! Ta -da! It's a beetle shirt bag. What's yeah, that it's a bag to put stuff that you want to cool. Like a cooler. It's a beater cooler. Beetle cooler. Yeah. This is so cool. This will be in the beetle for our trips this summer. We'll have the champagne the in here. The champagne and something good. This, I, I think this is so cool. That's yeah, very cool. Yeah. You can't drive with a beetle without having a cooler with a beetle yeah. on it. Yeah. So this is going to be our champagne cooler this year for yeah. uh, our little trips that this we're going to be a, doing. This is called a camper. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I was so happy when this arrived. Yeah, and we got some great trips, day trips, and even a few longer trips that we're going to be and, doing. And this morning I heard on the radio that what we're doing is actually very trendy. Really? Because the big thing in Norway now is Norwegians are actually planning to have their holidays mm -hmm. in the car. A lot of people will travel in Norway this summer. Oh, cool. So we're trendy. We're very trendy, we're aren't so we? Trendy. We're always trendy. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, and we're looking forward to a fabulous summer. Hopefully the weather will continue uh, staying the way it is. Uh, you may want to have a little bit of uh, a little bit of information about what's going to be going on in the next few weeks around here. Uh, we're going to be continuing our renovation project, which we hope to finish just before the summer officially starts. Mm -hmm. In Norway, the Hopefully. big summer month is July. Um, and that's the month when we will be on holiday. Um, so we're doing a lot of preparations right now for our summer holiday especially when the youtube channel is concerned sit in it for a bit is going to go on for a couple of more weeks we've got this episode which is posted on uh, june 9th mm. uh, the next episode will be posted on june 16th and then we've got an episode posted on june 23rd the june 23rd episode is going to be the finale of the uh, part one of season two 
of Sit In It For A Bit, which is the season. Mm. Um, and the cool thing about the finale um, on June 23rd is that Arna's birthday is on June 22nd. And we are gonna, we're planning a, a Knit In It For, Sit In It For A Bit special, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is gonna be all about your birthday. And Not all about my birthday. Oh come on! I want gonna, cake. Nothing. You're gonna get cake. Okay, thank you. And anyway, um, we're gonna we're not gonna do it live, so it's gonna be pre-recorded. But we're gonna do the live chat thing again on on the 23rd, um, and we want to celebrate our birthday or his birthday together with you guys. Uh, so we will do a live chat where we will be there uh, watching the episode together with you guys, and you will be able to uh, congratulate Arne and send him your greetings, which I'm sure you you'll want to do. So, and I'm gonna bake a cake as well. And then yeah. after June 23rd, we've got a couple of Sit In It For A Bit special episodes planned. One of them is going to be one of those slow TV things without any sound, mm -hmm. um, which I think you're going to love. And there's going to be another episode where, where it's going to be a surprise. Um, and after those episodes are done, there's going to be the reruns with commentary, both on Wednesdays and on Sundays yeah. for July, while we do our, our holiday. And yeah, but I think that's it, Carlos. Because now I think they are getting really busy behind her. So maybe next next week it will be yeah. more quiet. But now things are happening. I yeah, now things are happening. Minutes are over. Our stuff is uh, going on here, and now uh, our neighbor is getting a tree chopped. So I'm sure you can hear that noise. So hopefully next week it's more quiet. But now there's a lot of action around yeah. here. And uh, Helmer is looking out uh, out at the lake. Uh, waiting for the ball to come back to him. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I feel sorry for you. Yeah. We threw your ball in the lake. Sorry, oh. I'm going to pick it up now. Yeah. So let's. Yeah, and I think anyway, Arne. I think our 15 minutes. I think it's over. Are up. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. So the formalities. Okay. So the formalities are as usual. Uh, if you like this episode, <laughs> give us a big thumbs up. Even if it's noisy. Even if it's noisy, give us a big thumbs up. Um, when you hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the uh, bell for your notifications. That way you will be notified when we get a new episode and you'll never miss anything. And uh, yeah, and, and, and subscribe because it's a lot of fun. Uh, newsletter is the best way to um, keep in touch with us. And uh, we update mostly every week. Every week there's a new email from us, mostly. Uh, sometimes we do miss if we have too much to do. I don't think we send uh, out a newsletter this week or last week, but we will uh, this week. Uh, so yeah, make sure to subscribe so that you know, you know, you're always up to date with everything that we're up to. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for watching. We've got a great episode on Sunday for you guys. Um, and then uh, we'll be back with a new sit in it for a bit next Wednesday. Yeah. No, I'm going to go and see if it was the car who came with the insulation. Yeah, and I'm going to go um, yeah, back on my knees and um, I'm going to be picking up these little leaves <laughs> and these little sticks one you can by work one. in a royal gardener like or something. Oh yeah, I could. You're so picky. You I could definitely be a royal gardener, yeah. for sure. I could be a royal silver polisher. Yeah, so you see, yeah. if, we ever, uh, if we ever become unemployed, we'll just apply for jobs at the Royal Palace in Oslo. Yeah, no problem. So, so, see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> bye. Bye. Say, say bye. Oh, no.